Well, five people are recovering after a shooting on King Street in downtown Charleston. Charleston city leaders say this is proof that something needs to be done right now about the violence in that part of town. News News Riley Benson joins us live from downtown Charleston and Riley. The mayor and several Charleston city council people are calling for action. What do they want to happen? Carolyn, longtime city councilman Mike Seeking sharing strong words about Sunday morning's early shooting that sent five people to the hospital. He says those looking to cause mayhem in the city have no place in Charleston. He also says the city's leadership across the board has to be better. We're better than that. We're definitely better than that. I'm going to continue to be better than that. And I will be out here every single night on this street until we prove that we're better than that. Two shootings in a matter of hours, one in the heart of Charleston, sending five people to the hospital, city leaders saying they've had enough. If you're coming to Charleston to create trouble, the days of doing that are over. More than a year ago, sweeping changes were made to King Street following a number of violent crimes. Now Councilman Mike Seeking says the changes may need to go one step further. We've seen too much of it for the last two years. There have been nights where it's just been ridiculous. The changes already in effect include one-way traffic and increasing police presence and lighting. The Charleston Police Department says violent crime has decreased, and as with any other crime, they're pursuing every lead to find those responsible for Sunday morning shooting. We're making every effort to reduce um, crime, and all these changes that we've made have had a positive impact in that area overall. Councilman Seeking says police, elected officials, and local judges need to step up in order to deter violent offenders, tackling the issues of illegal guns and repeat offenders roaming Charleston streets. Making sure that people who come here to do things that they shouldn't be doing uh, are held accountable, and that's what we got to do. And that starts here, not anywhere else. Even with Charleston police saying violent crime is down, Councilman Seekings, much like he was last night, says he plans to be on King Street every night until the message has been received. If you come here, you're going to be met with stiff, stiff resistance, harsh consequence, illegal guns, illegal activity that isn't here to better our city, has no place, and um, we're over it. Now, Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg released a statement yesterday saying enough is enough and that the senseless violence here in the city of Charleston has to stop. He also says the city's leadership does need to be held accountable, but he says a lot of the issues and the change that needs to happen to weed out the illegal guns and repeat offenders, he says that has to come from the state's elected officials. Reporting live on King Street in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, Count on Two.